In spite of their delicate appearance, fungi are some tough little suckers. They were the first organisms to come to land, preceding plants by several hundred million years. Mushrooms don't even need sunlight to grow. In catastrophic periods of the Earth's history, when the sun was obscured by dense clouds, fungi flourished, growing to be up to three feet taller than any plants alive at that time. Mushroom spores can even survive the vacuum of space, which means at some point an impact from space could have knocked some of it off the planet. They might be out there now, Earth's first space travelers. An even wilder theory is that they could have arrived here from somewhere else and can be space aliens. Anyways, mushrooms are not just for food or characters in a video game. They are actually the fruit of a much larger organism called mycelium. Mycelium eat branches and leaves that fall on the forest floor, breaking down dead wood into fertile soil. The dense underground threads also act as a sponge, and this whole network acts as a provider of moisture to the plants. The mycelium can grow and grow as one connected colony. The biggest life form on Earth may be the 2400 year old fungal colony growing in the northwestern United States, 3.4 square miles wide. The anatomy of a mushroom consists of the cap, stalk, ring, vulva, hyphae, and gills. Spores fall out when the gills open and are spread by passing animals, or on the wind. You can grow your own edible mushrooms on logs. Just drill them in and keep them in dark and moist conditions. After a while, you'll have a mushroom garden. Most of the mushrooms we can eat can also be found growing wild, usually in wet, woody areas. Some faves of the mushroom hunters are the king bolete, the chicken of the woods, chanterelles, morels, oyster mushrooms, puffballs, pine mushrooms, and polypores. Hi, viewer friends. Go to DIY to get the mycologist skill. Okay, thanks, bye.